who's going to be doing a live every day. BJ got real stars. Shout out to BHBJ, I got a real star. 
hands in the rock. She goes all the ball, get the ball. Try. Nope. Oh, we went in. No, we're not.
Show your beans, dude. Shit already, oh my god. Wait, why is this my five over it? Need a scrum off. Oh, there. Oh, is that a fly half? <laughs> fly half. Oh, you could go there. Michael Swift Shout out to LBJ start up speed
the outcome of this encounter will essentially be decided by the intensity the players bring to the pitch. If I told you that I love you yeah. I'm the fifth of myth and I sound shit when I'm drunk on the microphone With a little bit of moan, a little bit of groan, I was best by staying at home I go like boom, 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 and the rock is here. Get on that side. BJ, I got real status for me, and that's the world worst cake. Well Baboom, kid. You're not kicking that. Easy ball. Hands in the rock. What the hell? Two 
Some crack. Oh my god! Oh my god! Didn't even tackle him! Now get the ball, you little bum! Hands in rock, I never even touched Jackal! Well, blow the whistle then, oh my god, just blow the whistle! So why are you going backwards then? Smoke, I've been going more. Oh, 
I don't want to smoke up and go mood. I mean, I've just missed the easiest of conversions. Smoke, I'm in go mode. Oh no. Oh, what a conversion. So close, Jackie from Move Tables to sit next to her.
taken. Great catch, that was not easy. Brilliant defending. They keep the ball. Ah, he looks hurt. I reckon he was injured in that tackle. There's room on the outside. Still can't pass. Sure, it, like when you're injured, it doesn't stop you from passing. Like, but Choco, yes. the ball. I pressed it hands in the rock once. Ready to kneel against Oliak. Jay Wilkins said, Oh, what do you mean? Mission, mission, mission.
This should be an easy win. Yes. Come on. Oh my god, we absolutely got smashed. I'm just putting all these. Oh, go on. Yes, go on. Go on. How have you let them come back then? I win this. I'll be happy. So they actually gonna get smashed. Go get smashed again. Gonna get smashed again. Oh, we actually did. I'll get smashed again. See? Face up, gosh, I ran a gyro. Yeah, no, you should have never. 
never started with me. Shout to OBJ, I got real starters with me. And yeah, your girl said that ain't nobody. Shit on it. Come on. Yes. Huga. Huga. Here we go against Russia. Russia, Putka, Russia. What's the Russian warriors? Go on. Actually, gets. My God! Oh, we're gonna get smashed. Forty-six nil. Actually, not that bad. <laughs> but we are getting smashed. Now. Oh, it's because of 
press X instead of circle. Oh, that's why. Are we going South Africa? Yeah. You should never start with me. Shut up, bitch, I got a real start with me. Yeah, your girl said that ain't nobody harder than me. A winger. I need a good winger, though. Yeah. A good winger. On South Africa, yellow bumps. Oh well. Stranger things fall. Bloody can't bloody get in the roll. Will this? Oh my god! Perfect. Not bad. God. Yes, perfect. Perfect, oh, perfect. The la boom. <laughs> Why the hell is that guy? You see that girl in Russia?
Shut up, BJ, and I got rid of Stalin with me. overcome the wallabies now to the just trash how do bulls overcome the wallabies Oh man, we came back. Oh man, we came back. See me there. Boom, boom, boom. Clap, 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 clap. Boom, boom, boom. Clap, 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 clap. All right, let's start this train. Bye. So we're gonna play a season today. I'm just, I'm just knocking it about. I've been playing FIFA, so I'm 
I'm literally, I'm, I'm ready. Like, you don't think I'm joking when I say I'm ready. Like, I'm unbelievably ready right now. You see this? You see this? I'm 2-0 up already. This is our first game. We normally lose our first game. What? Where are you going, huh? Yeah, you got to kick it. Just kick it, bro. Pass. Pop. You try fouling me like that, boy. See what happens. All right, 2-0 up. Easy win. Easy win. Win that. Good head. Mad sentence. Especially as I'm talking to Josh. And Harry finishes the game. Didn't even look. Didn't even look. I'm telling you, this time, we ain't taking no prisoners. Look at this. 4-0. Even when they think they're going to score. We don't let them score. We never let them score. And then KSI passes it across to Harry. Harry's through a goal. Oh, he's... Oh! Oh, there we go. Easy 4-0. I ain't taking no prisoners in this league. We, we've dealt with enough shit. The fact that we're still here is ridiculous. What do I go? Tackling? His tackling's almost four. I don't know what to do after that. Air attack. Air attack. Shot power, I guess. Shot power. Oh, you need that shot accuracy still. He's, they're almost all there. We're playing against Accra. This is one of the only places in the game that I've been. Go on. Where's the... Look at the pace. Look at the pace. Oh my god. Woo! Go on, Wick. Go on, Wick. That was a phenomenal. That's unrivaled. Like the fact that he controlled this perfectly. Might be the best goal I've scored. Look what I'm doing. This is this is the same difficulty he was on. No. No! I didn't want to concede. Harry, move your face. Think, just get your legs running. Yeah, boy. There we go. Easy. Oh, one G. Yo, Josh, how's your touch? Daddy work. That's a disgusting sentence I just said. <laughs> Holy crap. Changing this on to next thing right now. A bit. What? Oh! That might be the best goal I've ever scored. Vic is on it. Have I ever scored six, seven goals in a game? And I never will. That went in. That 100% went in. Gee, how many points? How many points? Three, four, five? All right, you know what? I ain't even going to add that on tackling because there's no point. We're wasting two points. Let's add him on shot power. All right, but you can go air attack. Air attack. Shot power. Shot power. Shot access. Yo, this team is ridiculous. I ain't even looking at it like Belgrade. I am, but I'm not looking where they are in the league. I feel like it puts me off. Yeah, look how I'm passing the ball around. It's different. It's different now. What? Wait, wait. Wait, thank God. Where's the run, Vic? Woo! The angle! Take touch. Oh! Yeet! Oh, man, we oh, battered it, Ellie. Shit. Oh, shit. No! Ah, oh, we just battered it, Ellie. That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. Alright, this is. A, I've got a game on, JJ. Go on. Eat Go on. With the little dinky. Yes! The little dinky. No, no, dinky, dinky. Eat the dinky, dinky. Alright, come on. What's he do? No. <laughs> Have I just have I just said defend and then let that in? What is going on with me? No, it's true. Come on, Island, Belgrade. you little bummers. Where are they in the league? I have to check this. Where were they? Belgrade. That was their first point. What? What just happened? All right, Birmingham. Look at them. They all look like they sleep with their uncle. There you go. I, I'm pissed, bro. I'm pissed. Yeah, go on. Like, only just. One. Go. It's a, it's a riot. Slide. Oh, that's out of the area. That's out of the area, ref. Don't slide me, don't slide me. Turns in. Does two of them. And Harry. The shot power. Passes it into JJ. Out wide. Back. Open goal. 5 0. Vic. Nice. 6 0. I've never won 7 0, you know. That's another game done. Six levels. I've never had six levels, I don't think. Air attack. 89. Shot powers into 70. I can't even do his. Um, I guess tackling. Right, shot powers into the 90s for you as well. This is mad. Lagos are 12th. I'm just storming through the games. Come on. Yo, are you seeing this play? Are you seeing this play? Are you seeing this play? That was one of the. No! I'm saying these are the nicest goals I'm scoring, but I'm just saying, Olatunde. There's actually a player called Olatunde. Vic, end the game. 2 0. As soon as it gets 2 0, I think it's done. Josh. Josh! My guy, he ain't got no shot accuracy. Still scores. Same with the. Oh! 4 0. 4 0. There's still a minute left. Wow! That was a nice wow. game. Uh -oh. Toby's on point, you know. Toby is destined for greatness. Vic? <laughs> Vic? No! That was a shot. That was an easy goal. Alright, I'll just put his shot accuracy up. Air attack. 92. 
74, 97 now becomes 100. Curry now has three on 100. Chubbert, we're going to chew some butt. I know we were used to be called the butt munchers, hence we need to channel our inner chew butts. Like, we can't lose to chew butts. After being the butt munchers, like, we munch on butts. They only chew. And Harry? No, no, no. No! Don't ever touch Harry again. And Vic. That's the first bicycle kick I've scored in a long time, you know. There you go. Every time, bro. Uh oh. Ah, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Game management, JJ. Yo, calm down! Oh. My. God. Yes! Come on! 3-2. It was a close one, but we won. We're top. Book a rest. All right, if we win this, the league is done. It's ours. This is it. There we go. Well, it's not actually, because this is only third place. No. No! Toby! What the hell? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm pissed. That's it. That's all we need. That little through ball from Vic to JJ. We got that link up play. Link up, daddy. It's Vic. There's the goal. All right. Hang on. Hang on. No. Beautiful. Harry, look at the pace. Put it off the burners on. Vic, look at the pace. Ain't no ginger Donny catching me. Pace it up. Vic. Okay, blow your whistle. Yeah. Done. Another win. Three points is three points. That's the sign of a true champion. Winning even when you're, like, struggling. Yo, I, I don't know what to do for Harry. I guess they go tackling. JJ has another hundred. Ad Adamawa. Ad Adamawa. Yeah, okay, get that. Oh. Yo, I didn't think that would go all the way round so hard. Harry? Done. Oh, my scum off. Yo, I'm actually not going to win. Harry, if there's a time to score, it's now. No, he got tackled. Got another draw. It's not great. It's not great. That really ain't great. Oh, we're still top. Okay. A bit jet. A bit jan. 14. Doesn't mean anything. Yo, look at the pace. You ain't catching me. Done. Keep it died out of the way. Where are you going? My I got the first bust to Croydon. Yo, you see that? You see that? The footwork. Harry, oh my God. Harry's making me wet. Why do they look Irish? Like they even have a player called Patrick. Abid Jan does not sound very Irish. That's the ball. 3 0, done. No, I don't miss. I don't miss. There you go, JJ. Try it. Woo, my guy. That's your wake up call. Yo, Vic. Vic, 5 0. Oh, God. I don't think I can get another two goals in that time. There's no hope now. Yes. He had an open header and with a head like, look at that shape, he's got a dent just for headers. There we go, 5-1. Fade no, the wake way up, car. No, 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 no. no matter what. We're four points ahead. Riga. I'm saying it differently because someone was like, he's right to do a bad word. This might be a, this might be a tough game. Okay, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. There you go, finally, Vic. Beautiful. This team's trash. Look at the unselfish plays. What a challenge. And Harry. Goal. 3-0. JJ. JJ with the control. Pass it out wide. Look at the unselfishness. That was selfish. But when you score, it doesn't matter. Harry. Ah, oh, I was just about to pass it across. All right. 4-0. Ethan's got three 100s as well. Vic's getting there. Vic is very close. Harry's got it. JJ's got it. Helsinki. Seven points ahead. I'm in the shittest league. And chips it in. Harry. Let's hit the crossbar. Yeah, okay, Vic. Vic, one, two. Okay. I wasn't aiming that there. Oh, no. Yeah. Damn it. I'm losing. Pass. Finish. You've just, you've just had an open goal. There you go. No! There you go. Finally. Thank you, Harry. You know you can always trust Harry and Vic. There you go. There you go. Oh, the perfect pass. Nice. You showed determination today, boys. The white man coming from behind. Mad. Don't like that. I didn't like that. We've got three more oh games my in the God. playoffs. What? We're playing cautious. That's all we need. Each oh, my God. The marathon man. Harry. Nah, screw Harry's it. just read the game, and now he's won. Now all we have to do is score next, and we win. Uh, you know what? Good time wasting. Good, good time wasting. Bad. Bad time wasting. Bad time wasting. Great time wasting. And Vic's through. This to end the game. Oh, the unselfish play. That may have actually just secured 
first place. This is game 13, and we're playing Chicago. We only have this and two more. I want a whole unbeaten season. JJ? Nobs him! That's, that's the best goal. That's the best goal. That's the best goal I've ever scored. Best goal right now I've just ever, I've ever scored. I just scored a header, a lobbed header. Through the middle, through the middle, and there it is. Go on, Vic. Hit him with the pace. That is the worst goal. No! I've let so many goals in, this is bad. I suppose. Oh, okay. We'll take it, we'll take it. Top scorers. We got the top two. And goalkeepers top. Goals for 46. Goals against. Holy George. Almost conceded one again. That's that's bad. I ain't conceding this game. I told you I ain't conceding this game. I ain't conceding this game and I'm gonna score a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna score a lot. We're three 0 up within 26 seconds. No. No! Come on. I can see this. I can see oh this. my god! Let's screw it. I'm scoring. If I'm, if I'm conceding, I'm going to score more. We're now. Huh? We're now, huh? We're now, huh? We're now, huh? The defending masterclass right now. Defending masterclass. Defense is the best form of attack, some say. 6 1. Go! JJ! Seven goals! I've definitely never scored eight. No! 7-1 though. I'm telling you boys, this is our season. We're just auto-improving everyone. Last game of the season against Toronto. 14th place. We haven't lost a game yet. Where am I going? All the way forward. All the way in. There you go. Ah! Oh, my team is so sexy! The football, the football we play is so sexy. I can't lose the Gingers and Robert. Look at their names. Robert, Ethan. What a stupid name. Who would have Ethan on their team? Vic. 4-0, Vic. Vic's just dribbled around everyone. It's 5-0 within, within like less than a minute. This has to be our first time. I literally just didn't get it. Oh, that's mad. I mean, I'll take a 5-0. Final game of the season. We'll take a 5-0. Now, it is time for the playoffs. I haven't lost the game. We're playing Chicago. I just have to do the same thing I've been doing. Uh, it's a different occasion now. Vic, Vic, turns in. Oh my God. Vic, look what's happening. There you go. Thank you. Vic, bro. I'm, I'm this close to phoning you and just saying, what the fuck, bro? Pass it. There you go. Yes. It's because of my threat. That's because of my threat. Ah, it's over. It's... Blow, blow your whistle. Just Vic. Vic. Yeah. Yo, Harry, that's you, bro. Is it the occasion or something? What's going on? We've won, but what the fr That's the most open goals I've missed ever. All right. Chaco, I'm, I don't want to waste time. I've gone straight into every game and it's working. Oh, you're taking the piss. You're taking the piss. Harry, thank you. You're not taking the piss. No, it's 1-0. Oh, my God. Vic. Yes, one. We're going to the final, baby. Game management. Game management. Oh, done. We're into the final. What a game, though. 2 1. Oh my god. Like, we have to, we have to be the book of rest. Book of rest. That's what they are. What is happening? Why is this team suddenly insane? This wasn't them for league. Yo, go, Vic. Go, 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 go. Go, Vic. Please. We're going up, boys. All right. Defend. 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 They're taking me to the top. Okay. They can't catch you. They can't catch you. They can't catch you. They can't catch you. Plus, Ethan, you just lost out to someone named Ian. Harry. End the season on a hat trick. My guy. We've done it, boys. We've got promotion. Okay, JJ. JJ gets involved. As the clock strikes zero, buzzer beater and all that. We're going up. Up, up. We're going up. Oh, look at that. We didn't lose a game all season. We have moved up to the division two. League leaders, let's have a look. Top and second division. Oh, it's different now. Let's see who we got in a new division. Congratulations, your team has moved up to division two. Yo, we got the likes of Bucharest came up with us, huh? We got hashtag FC are back. We got Mexico, Moscow, Milan, Prague. Why is Mexico, that's a country. Everyone else is.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another survival. Squat, scorn, scorn, scorn. I was recently surprised to discover that the word scrum half is in the Oxford English Language Dictionary. I was even more surprised to learn that the definition read like this rather than this. Now they're billed as the link between the forwards and the backs, but in truth the scrum half position in top-flight rugby is just short man syndrome turned into a profession. Now despite being very not big myself, I was never a natural fit for the scrum half position because I'm covered both my height and even the tall ones are classic sufferers of Napoleon complex. Scrum half is a position for people who take no comfort in the fact they can just about get on all the rise at Alton Towers. And the best ones come from those who, on the playground, realise they'd never be able to beat that kid up. So instead they'll just have to get so 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 much better at everything else in the world in order to get their own back it's a bit like how all the best props come from kids who decided early on they'd rather find a way of using their weight than go to the gym and stop eating treacle even though he grew to be a glorious six foot two it's arguably the spirit of a childhood short ass that led Conor Murray to become perhaps the most effective scrum half in the world. Whilst there are other scrum halves who are as good as him, there are none as well deployed by their team. Murray's become the absolute cornerstone of everything Joe Smith Island does. These days, they almost play like a team trying to enable Murray. The entire game plan is seemingly built on playing to his strengths. As such, if we want any insight into why Ireland are as effective as they are, we need to first ask the same question about Conor Murray. Early in his career, Murray was referred to as a kind of Irish Mike Phillips. And for the first few years, he was one fight for McDonald's bounce away from that being fair. But over the last five years, Murray has flourished into a significantly more intelligent player than Phillips ever was. Now, rugby is not a simple game, and you know that because if it was, Americans might watch it. And yet, Conor Murray has an incredible knack for being on top of every single element going on at once, no matter how quick the game. He's excellent at organising his team, communicating clearly, getting his teammates into positions he wants them to be in. Look at this clip. Even though he was at the bottom of the previous ruck, he's so fixated on managing his team's shape. He hits wicked stepmother levels of not letting anyone go near the ball. Just as well, too, because a few moments later he scores himself. Whilst he bursts through the gap like a man on his way to the hot cake shop, these tries are more about Murray's speed of thought than foot. Blocks similar to these occur hundreds of times per game, but Murray spots it right away, in the half second in which he can exploit it. In the rest of that second, he notices that his opposite number's eyes are on Sexton, not him. He processes this very quickly, and he's through. Murray snipes around the fringes very often, which means defenders can't afford to drift at all. They have to commit tight the ruck to try and prevent him from using his freakishly large scrum half frame to pop the ball over the line, which, of course, leads to other chances out wider. With some scrum halves, this is about greed. With Murray, it's calculated. Murray's speed of thought and ability to scan the width and depth of the field is almost unparalleled. This try from 2014 is perhaps my favourite demonstration of what I'm going to call Murrayism. It's one of the sharpest, smartest pieces of play I've ever seen on a rugby pitch. It's such an impressive piece of play. I genuinely don't think anything can ruin the sheer intelligence of what Murray does. So, to test this theory to its limits, instead of talking about the try, I'm instead going to read an extract of my new rugby slash fiction. It has been a record eight months since Wales last played Australia, and it's rough allowed for every second of it pass. At points, it felt as though he would never see his Valley Prince Charming again. He would spend his days dreaming about his welcome as he would comb over, and nights about his underrated handling skills. He'd never felt this way towards the second row before, but this was... Squat, squint, squint, squint. You know what they say. You never know which Welsh team is... Squat, squint, squint, squint. You know there are people out there who thought this was a boring game. On first viewing, as a Wales fan, this was a relentless multi-hour heart attack, watching as our dream of taking our best ever chance at Rugby World Cup fades in and out and then eventually out on Super Bowl. But watching it a second and third time as a rugby fan, this was the tightest contest I've seen in years. An incredible stalemate where two teams did everything to cancel each other out at what I believe was the highest mutual intensity of the entire tournament. I don't know if anyone remembers this scrum from a few years ago. On the surface, it looks like nothing is happening, but in reality, that's because there's such colossal effort power and technique being applied that neither side can get an edge, neither side can go forward. Props and rugby hardcores loved it, and for me, Wales against South Africa in the 2019 Rugby World Cup semi-final was like that scrum stretched out for an entire game. This almost felt like a tennis match, a back and forth with either side desperate to break the other team's serve, only for the match to end on 80 minutes, with advantage firmly on the South African side. Perceptions become Wales were not good enough to win this game, all because they lost in the end. And this is backed up by the stats by virtually every single statistic. South Africa dominated everything. The Chunky Bot Boys made about 100 metres more than Wales, off 40 fewer carries. They crossed the game line pretty astounding 
completing 92% of the time, their tackle completion was 93% to Wales' 82, and they turned over Wales a remarkable 15 times. If you look at it objectively, if you're to judge of what we can see and count, Wales were comprehensively outmuscled, outmatched, outskilled, outscrummed, and outplayed. South Africa were the better rugby team. And yet, this was possibly the tightest game of the tournament, and what Razzy Rasmus said himself, he still felt could go out of the way even after Hardry Pollard kicked his late penalty. So, how the hell did Wales manage to keep it so close during an 18 in which they should have been flattened harder than Fat to Clerk would be if he played in the 80s? The answer is one no stats package will ever tell you. South Africa were dominant, but they were out fought. The Springboks were on top in all traditional aspects of play, but Wales had Warren Gatland. Whilst Razzy Erasmus has devised an excellent game plan that really, really works, and I'll go more into it later in this week, because in between me writing this and me editing this video, they went and won the bloody World Cup. Warren Gatland has become the absolute king of the counter. South Africa has done very little to hide how they play. Since Erasmus took over, he's essentially developed two different styles of play, two different game plans, one built around speed, which was used this year against the likes of Canada and Australia, and then the territory-based power game that's been the default during these knockouts. He's then refined rather than adapted them. As such, Gatland has had a pretty good idea what he's going to face, and he got a chance to work out exactly what he's going to do in response. Now, I've talked about Springboks quite a lot in the last year, and I've described plenty of components of that game individually in separate videos in the past, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run through them quite quickly. It may seem, you know, quite blunt or simplistic explanations, but that's because what I want to focus on is how Gatland got around them, how Wales worked out the Springboks. I also recognise this may sound one-sided, and especially since Wales and my support, so, you know, it'll always be a good bias there, but it's simply the nature of the game. The thing for Springboks box did well are uh, easy enough for any observer to point out, whereas the things Wales did well to match them kind of require a bit more talking. Regardless of how entertaining you found the game, you probably noticed there were quite a few occasions on which ball hit boot. I've talked before about South Africa's zone-led strategy. The idea is to always be moving forward. If momentum stops, they thump it. If they get trapped somewhere where they don't have many attacking options, they thump it. If they're in their own 22, they thump it. If Faf de Klerk wants a moment to do his hair, they thump it. Gatlin knew this and used this as part of his attack. South Africa's defence, on the other hand, works like this. Aggressive blitz, usually led by the third man, usually, in the line to put maximum pressure on the attack. Then, if the ball does manage to get any wider than that man here, they use their winger to shoot in at a diagonal angle and kill the play from outside the attacker's eye line. In the way most teams use a 13, they use their winger. If the winger is unavailable, if he's back having a kick, then Factor Clerk fills in, because this man on the outside is the fulcrum of their defence. He's the key man in the system, so Gatlin knew he was who he had to target, and the easiest way to do this is just to make him think. This system works best when the winger can come in and be decisive, when he can just shoot in and do something. BAM! Now the pass you had to see drifts forwards, but just look at how much space Wales create by Jonathan Davis just holding the ball a half second longer than usual and making Nkosi think about where to shoot. The ball then goes out to Adams, and had the pass been backwards, there would have been a lot of space there to exploit. Here, Wales play one phase of crash ball set up in the middle of the lineup, then they pull a set play. The field is set up in a standard forward formation, ready to crash it up a few more phases, except these are forwards, these are backs! Oh, they scored them there! Wales are facing a defensive line set to defend carries with, you know, one winger here to shoot in if they try and get wide, but instead, what look like pods disassemble into backs into being an army of runners who can all distribute, and they all go right at the wing. This gives Nkosi lots and lots of options, lots of information he has to decode before making a decision. He takes just a second to a an hour over it, and that's all they need for Wales to get the ball to George North. They've brought him round, they've hidden him, getting him round to this side into plenty of space. This move instead targets the gap on the inside of the guy leading the line. So, Bigger moves round to the blind side. He then, as the play is called, deliberately late flashes round onto the open side, with Halfpenny coming deliberately later to target the space as being unguarded by the box. They have one man drift in, whilst the others are flying up to try and close down the space and force Wales backward at the pace of standard play. Again, this pass goes forwards, but if it comes off, Wales have three support runners here ready to be on Halfpenny's shoulder 
and it could potentially be one offload away from a try scoring opportunity. You'll notice as well, on all three of the attacks I put out there, and basically any other chance where Wales found space throughout the rest of the game you want to look at, this was off second phase. Wales would play one to generate momentum, usually have the park run and walk in up the middle, and then out it comes. The more phase Wales played, the further backwards and hence the less dangerous they became. This is where Wales' kicking game came in. Wales were making very little ground of carries. So, they started kicking into positions in which they knew South Africa would kick it back. Wales' kicking game is normally all about the chase, but on Sunday, they focus equally on positioning, on pinning South Africa into positions in which protocol would take over. This allowed the attack to reset, to look to play those two phases again in order to find that space. And it wasn't only space in the main line. Wales kicked for South Africa to turn it here, and then when the box inevitably do so, Wales are instantly looking to Willie again because South Africa's backfield is still resetting. Dwayne Vermeulen is acting as a sweeper, and this gives them prime opportunity to send Dan Bigger, their best chaser, up to gather. He does gather, he offloads, and this almost puts George North in for a chance. Wales also toyed with the wingers, trying to pull them up and down regularly, running down with Impey's wing off two scrums in a row, making significant yardage to encourage him to come up and cover that, but then kicking directly to him moments later, making him think about dropping deep instead, or using these horizontal cross kicks to try and keep the wingers flat when they're wanting to shoot in and hit a man in the outside channel. There are threats throughout the South African team, but they're all drilled to play game plan first, instinct second. This isn't a problem. This got them to a World Cup final here, and eventually won the World Cup spoilers so Wales nullified them by forcing them into situations in which they couldn't be themselves for fear of a bollocking from Big Dick Razzie South Africa on the other hand didn't do this Wales played the entire second half and the last few minutes of the first half with Owen Watkins on the wing now I'm an Ospreys fan so I've watched basically every professional game Owen Watkins ever played and to my knowledge he's played on the wing once Jonathan Davis shared some responsibilities and again having watched him play 200 odd times I've seen him play on the wing once South Africa did nothing to try and exploit this you can bet if it had been the other way around Gatlin would have exploited that mercilessly. This all begs the question of why, if they were so tactically on top, did Wales not beat South Africa? And that's exactly the problem, because the tactical game was the only area in which Wales had any edge. They fought thoroughly of how to beat South Africa, but this Wales team lacked the power of their green and gold counterpart, and from a fitness perspective, they were verging on spent. Top tier rugby is essentially a 50-50 mashup of chess and sumo wrestling. It's chess boxing if the two of them were done at the same time, but there was no way Wales were ever going to win the wrestle. South Africa were never being shoved out of that ring, and it was Wales' job just to remain in there as long as possible, just to stay in there for 74 minutes took basically all their energy. Because ultimately, while the other side had their speciality, South Africa were